Good morning. Welcome back to another week of building our V8 swapped MX-5. And I've done a few other things this week as well. I've been go-karting, it was raining awfully. I went to Gravity Car Show in the UK, you'll know what it is if you like cars. I went there on a Sunday, I saw Night Ride, they were lovely, lovely people. A lot of people won't have time for you because they think they're better than you. They were really nice, they were really lovely, genuinely good guys. Um, so that was really nice to meet them. I think Kevin, which they built, and their Skyline as well, uh, they were both crazy. And also seeing that Skyline is helpful because pictures like this mean that when we get the V8 in this, I might have learned a few things. So, so yeah, all in all, good week and enjoy the video. And don't forget to subscribe as well. I need one of those microphones that go on here really, don't I? Predominantly, restoring that MX-5 in there and putting this, this 1UZ V8 into it. I've been doing it for about six months, on and off. Uh, but now it's like the main priority, apart from that car there, which also really needs, yeah, that also really needs to be sorted out as well. It's well loved. It's not well loved. It's, it's well loved. It's opposite of well loved. It's well it's loved it. and well used. Yeah, it looks well used, yeah. <laughs> I can wait until next week's video. For now, we're just going to be doing more of this one, just because it needs doing. Yeah. Like, I wish it was fun, but it's not. Reality check. Yeah. If you have been watching the last few weeks or videos of this car, you'll know that this rear quarter and arch section um, is like a crash damage repair. So we're basically Matt Armstrong for this video for this week. Because um, <laughs> if you come around here... Do you reckon he fancies coming to give us a hand? This is what the arch looked like, guys. The yeah. rear quarter looked like. And this is the arch. <laughs> Yeah, this is the um, part that we need to fix. And I say we need to fix it because you can't get a replacement part for that for that panel. The whole rear quarter, I'm going to be buying a brand new. I'm going to buy a factory one. I know people say that you can get better ones, but that one is 31 years old and it's not rotten, which means this one will be zero years old. It definitely won't be rotten. So just to finish getting the car taken apart and stripped down, there's really not much left to do. I just need to cut off this section here. I'm gonna do a patch repair on this and try and hit it out. And this part of the rear sill also needs doing. So, uh, yeah, what's probably gonna be five minutes of this video is gonna be one week of our work. So let's <laughs> crack on, shall we? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I bought these, well, Tyler bought these. I found them though, lovely new drill attachments, paint strippers, so that I can get all up in here and in here uh, to get all the paint off. I've recently done this piece here and a little bit up here and a bit up here. I've still got all that side to do. Um, How long do you expect it to take you having done a decent part to finish the back end? A week. Okay, so that's perfect. A week, I reckon. Every every night, a week. Yeah, lovely. We'll have to do it every night. Depending on how stubborn it is. There's some bits I still can't get to. I still can't get in here. But, hopefully... Oh, these. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. So let's start, shall we? You can use this. Thanks. I'll use a, brush. a grinder, wherever it is, and I'll start cutting off all the parts we don't want and cleaning it up. So, nice. I don't want loads, I would assume. It sounds more... That was a bit stupid of me. You are retarded, don't you? Anyway. Will it ruin my hair? I don't know. Is your hair rusty? Is it chemicals? Well, it gets rid of rust. Wait a minute. So... That's looking a lot better. I've just kind of taken to metal everything around the rusted area and parts I've taken off today. Um, if you come up a bit closer here, you'll be able to see that it is still quite pitted, but you can see that all the kind of pitted is still there, but a lot of the rust has come out. There's a couple of small holes here 
here, here. I'll fill these ones with welds because they are where this panel came off anyway from the spot welds. It's just this one here that I need to deal with. Um, but I might just be able to fill that with weld as well. It's I don't not very really big, it's only small. I'll just Google it or something like that. So we'll see what's recommended for that. But apart from that, I've kind of hit this area out and if you, I don't know how much you can see, but it's a lot, it looks mm. a lot smoother. Uh, and you can still see where I've hit it, but it kind of has more of its own shape now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Next step, just to finish sorting out all of this, making sure it's all nice and ready, ready for primer. And then we'll start the welding here. So yeah, let's crack on with that then. Yeah, oh, meanwhile, I've been trying to get off some rust that's in here. That is just very stubborn. Yeah, so, so we won't bore you with too much of watching it. We'll just keep you updated. We'll just keep going and see how much we can get done by the end of this video. So yeah, but I'm happy with that. Just got to cut that. Let's carry on making it all look nice and shiny. the end of Thursday. If you look here you can see well there's quite a lot of little bits but it's pretty much got its shape back now. Yeah it's not bad to be fair. So that's all right. I'll know exactly where where it goes when I get the rear quarter on obviously but until then whoops until then I'm going I'm quite happy with this. Uh, the rear sill I haven't cut the sill yet that still needs to be done and everything behind here that you can see is also bare metal as well. So I've done from here, around all where the light assembly goes, up to about here halfway, and that was one day's, well, one evening's work here after work. I then done the rest of that today, and um, a little bit of cleaning that up. So it's a long job, but it that's life, isn't it? So, mm. yeah, it takes a long time. And one week's video update isn't like, we put the engine in this week and the next week we've done something else like... If only it was that quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. It's it's reality. That's what this these videos are, isn't it? Yeah. And we're in a shipping container. And the only light I've got is that one. Onto that extension lead, which over there is connected to an inverter and a car battery. So. Look at how cool that is. On the magnet. Yeah, look at all the metal shards on it. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, it's for a great YouTube video. Oh, do your hair quick, do your hair. <laughs> it's on 3x, I can't see anything. Is it a video? Hello.